Hey, it's Mr. D again, here with another quick tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to record a smart presentation using Smart Notebook software. Essentially what we're going to do is, we're going to take a pre-made presentation and we're going to record it so that we can play it back. Okay, what we'll do first is we're going to take a look at the toolbar up here and we're going to customize it because typically the toolbar does not have the recorder in it. So we need that recorder button so we can start. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add that recorder button by going to view. And we'll go down to customize toolbar. It'll, it'll open up all these tools for us. And if you want to customize anything on the toolbar, you can simply grab that item, drag it, and drop it where you want it. I can drop it anywhere over here. I'm going to drop it right here. And I can do the same thing to remove it. I can grab it and drop it to remove it. So here's my smart recorder. I'm going to take that and put it in my toolbar. I'm going to close that here. I can also put it on my layer panel over here. And I'm going to do that too because um, sometimes it's handy to use it over here. Here's my customize button. So I'm just going to open that up and I'm going to do the same thing. Here's my recorder. I'm going to take it, drag it, and drop it right where I can use it. Okay. Now, uh, I need a presentation that's made, somewhat anyway, so that I can use it and, and record. And so what I'll do is I will simply press the, the uh, recorder up there and it'll pull up this record box here for me. And this record box is nice. Uh, it's got my basic uh, controls here, my record, pause, and stop. This will be red normally before I start recording. Uh, this menu right here is kind of nice. If you open that menu up, it'll give you some options. I can't open it as I'm recording, so I've taken some screenshots of it. And uh, the first one is recording quality. You can adjust the sound or video quality, and you can experiment with that if you would like. Uh, the, the, the higher quality that you go, you're going to end up with larger files and it's possible that it could slow your computer down as you're recording so it could cause problems but you'll want to experiment with that. Um, the video the video format excuse me, try to clear that up. The video format um, you can choose here, you can choose a WMV or an AVI uh, down here it does say that you, you can only play this if you have notebook software uh, on the computer that you're using. So you're going to want to be careful if you choose that option and you're trying to play this somewhere else. Um, and uh, so the next option here we have is target files. And if I open target files up, it looks like this. And target files uh, is simply choosing where I'm going to save this, this file. So if you want to browse that and, and choose a place to save it that's, that's easy to get to. And the last one here is watermark. And the watermark is kind of nice. Uh, with watermark, you can you can choose an image, and uh, and that image will show up right over here where I'm circling in your video. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll have your personalized watermark on your video. So those are some options you have in recording. When you and when you're done recording, so you give your lesson, and when you're done recording, you simply hit stop, and when you hit stop, you're going to get this box. This box should look familiar. It's simply telling you where to save it. While I'm making these recordings, I like to save it on the desktop just so it's real easy to get to. And so once I've done that, that's it. I've made my smart recording. And, and so I can go to my desktop and find it. And, and here's a sample. There's a couple samples of some. Here's one. And I can open it up and view it and see how it looks. And there it is. Okay, I'm going to close that. The nice thing about this recording option is that I can record anything on my desktop. So you'll notice that I'm out of Smart, and now I'm looking at my desktop. I can open up the Internet. I could open up uh, some software and demonstrate how that's used. Uh, I could uh, simply show you how to navigate through my computer also. So this can be real handy for lots of different types of lessons. Speaking of which, if we go back to this, now why would you use this? Well, there's, there's a couple reasons why. You could make a video podcast. 
Yeah. Or how about a sub plan? You're out for the day and uh, you could just put this video on your desktop and uh, instruct your students to tell the sub where it is and you can play it when you're out. Uh, project it on your smart board and that way everybody know what, knows what's going on. Uh, the next one, uh, a mini lesson. So you could have a, uh, a quick little lesson that you do using a pre-recorded presentation. And uh, the most fun of all is uh, to allow students to create these to show to their peers. Well, I hope you find a good reason to use it. I know I have fun with it. Good luck, and we'll see you next time.